And now with that in mind, I've given you the template of most of the fill-in function, and I want you to just put in uh, two missing pieces. So what does the, fi the fill-in function do? Uh, well, first it finds all the letters in the formula, and I want you to fill in that piece. And then it iterates uh, a collection called the digits, a permutation of the digits taken from all the digits uh, the n at a time, and you have to fi fill in the right value of n. And then it builds a table from taking the letters, and so that means you want to make sure that the letters up here are represented as a string and not as some other type of uh, collection. It makes a translation table from the letters and a string of all the digits that we got out of the permutations. The function iterTools.permutations returns a tuple of results, and so we want to join together that tuple into one big string, make up the translation table, and then call formula with the translate method with that table to translate all the letters into the appropriate digits and yield that result. So in other words, fill in is a generator function, not a function that returns a list of results. Why did I do it that way? Well, because you might get lucky. It might be that the very first formula you try, or one of the, f the few uh, first formulas you try, is the correct one. And so if I do for f and fill in a formula, I ask for the first formula, and if it is valid, then I want to return it right away. I don't want to waste time uh, calculating all the other possible fill-ins. So that's why a generator makes more sense here. So see if you can fill in these two missing pieces.